Ok, guys, I'm here today for Andrea Galvão. Huge honor for me. Guys, uh, Andrea is uh, just sharing an entire structure with us all about the stack pass, which, he, in my opinion, is one of the best guard passings in Jiu Jitsu. So today, Andrea is going to show us here like the, the, be the best pass to pass any guard, which we believe is the stack pass. So I'm super excited to learn from him. I think we don't need to, even need to do an introduction for him. Like six times world, world champion, black belt, six times ADCC champion. So let's do it. All right, that's super nice. Okay, um, this is very common to happen when you're trying to apply this stack pass. Okay, so you'll be on this position here, and then um, you get in between the legs of your opponent, and you grab the belt here or the pants if it's not wearing the belt. Okay, so I grab the belt here in this case, and most of the time, especially if you find someone as big as Bernardo. Uh, they try to grab your belt, okay? So they go and reach for your belt like this, right? And then once he grabs your belt, it's so hard for you to keep moving, right? So if you go forward, he's gonna stretch the legs down. It's hard for him to grab the, uh, the lapel here, his collar, okay? So what I like to do in this position, I put my left elbow on the floor and then I turn sideways like this, okay? So I stay on this position here. And you see that my elbow is like a tripod. So same time he's holding, I go like this, okay? And once I do this, he kind of like forgets a little bit of this arm, okay? Even if Bernardo is holding my, my uh, sleeve right here, I can use my knee to break the grip, okay? Once I break the grip, I reach his collar. Once I grab with the thumb in, I don't go so deep. I go right here, okay? I need my form as close as I can. Uh, to his hips, all right? So now I square, I square back up again here, all right? And then I start putting his uh, his knee towards his chest, like so, okay? Now I need to walk and move to the side. Once I move into the side, I'm gonna put my forearm right in the middle of his butt, like this. And Bernardo is still holding my, uh, my belt right here. I can't pass right here. So what I do, I move a little bit out, down, duck under, and move back again. So now it's really impossible for him to grab my belt. I'll pass his guard. Once I pass the guard, Bernardo tried to press me. He tried to move and bridge. I keep putting the weight on him. And once he stop moving, I go for the underhook, and then I grab the head. Once I grab the head, I apply the pressure with my shoulder, tiptoes on the mat. Okay, I can clear this frame right here if I want, okay? In this case, it's better for me, especially if I find someone bigger than me. So one more time. So again, on this position here, okay? And Bernardo will grab my belt, okay? So you grab the belt here, it's very common, okay? So I got a tripod. If he's holding the sleeve, I break the grip, and then I grab the collar. So he's gonna try to open my elbow here. Open my elbow, Bernardo, like this, it's happening. So I must like close my elbow as hard as I can, come back up here, okay, stack him, and now look, I go inside and put my forearm and my arm really close to his hips. And more Bernardo pull the belt right now, more pressure he put on himself. All my weight is on my forearm. So now I need to duck under. When I duck under, it's like a spring right here. I'm gonna bring my, my body down and duck under. And then I go back. Now I pass the guard, okay? Once I let go of the grip, pass, get the underhook, and I grab the head. So at first I get the underhook here, okay? Then the, the head, because sometimes you're gonna try to move away from you. So I control this first, and then I go here. Now I control and pass this guard, okay? So Andre, just to summarize here, like the most important details, so you get in the stack pass, and then if your opponent controls your belt, which is like one of the most annoying things that can happen in the mm -hmm. stack pass, mm -hmm. you switch your base, which nobody does. Yeah. Right? Nobody does that. And when That's I see true. someone doing, they just try to, they, they don't do what you're doing, like controlling the lapel. No. And like, I don't, right yeah, I don't try to like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. to grab like this. Yeah. Because here you're really strong. Put your legs down the floor, like I keep possible for you. I got it. Especially if you're bigger than me. Got so it. when I go like this, you can come up, but to come up, you need to let go of the belt. Oh, yeah. Like, let go of the belt and sit up. Exactly. So now, I can start going for the side. Right? Got it. So, you're not going to let go of this, okay? Yep. 
And now you're kind of like forgetting a little bit. So it's easier for me to just bring your leg close to my ear. Yep. And then grab your collar here. Got it. Okay. I don't grab this collar here. I could, but I prefer this one. Got it. Okay. So now I go back. And now it's really important to be uh, 90 degrees from the body of your opponent. You go here, walk 90 degrees, and then move here. Got it. So now you stack a little bit. Now back under. Keep holding my belt as long as you can. See, very uncomfortable. Ah. Yeah, so it's it's a break. yeah, so I think those two details, like how you switch your legs and grab my lapel, and then how you switch your head, that was that was new for me. Yeah. And you have been doing that for a long time? How is yeah, that? I always uh, I always work on that. Like I'm really good on stack pass. Good. And when you're doing one technique and when you master a technique, you need to know the reactions of your opponent. Oh, yeah. And I'm I believe I teach myself. I say when somebody tries to stack you, grab the belt. You know yeah. that's like the most effective way to defend. To avoid to exactly. avoid that, but yeah. I don't know. After this video, I don't know if it's gonna be so effective. <laughs> yeah. No, and I was super impressed, like with how many defense you have from the stack pass. Yeah. So you could you. I hope we, in the future we do one instruction all about the defense because you were showing here like me. Two minutes to show like 10, so that, that was very impressive too. Yeah, I put myself a lot in that situation, especially on top. Class. And you know, I came from back in the day as well, like since 2005. A lot of people used to do a stack, and I right. need to know how to defend. Right. So, my first instructor, he taught me a lot of stack uh, defense, but I, I started developing more and more techniques right. to avoid and prevent my opponent to stack me. And also while I'm stacking, I got to recognize his moves right, in order like to have a successful uh, system. Good. So guys, yeah, Andrea just showed the entire instruction for us all about the stack pass. So it's probably like the first instruction we have that's only focused on stack pass. And I think stack pass is one of like the most simple and most efficient passings we have. Regardless of which belt you are, how old you are, I think it's something that everybody can do. So make sure to check that out at bggfanatics.com and uh, we're gonna, uh, it's gonna be available soon, but maybe by the time you're watching, it's already there. So thanks so much, everyone. Yeah, thank you, man. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.